Alright, how's it going guys? Hope you guys enjoyed the Dick Johnson reviews. So, now we're going to head to a different part of the world just to switch things up a little bit. Today we got from Canada, Toronto. Super sad to see them lose yesterday, but we got the original pomade up for review right now. We're going to be doing, um, I believe they have four products, so we're going to be doing two of the four. The original pomade and then their clay pomade. So this is going to be the original pomade and let's jump right into it. Alright, so taking a look at the jar, we see that it's got this like traditional art kind of illustration in the front. Super whack, but in my taste it's very ornate and like very detailed. Um, again with the labeling on the back, it's super hard to read because this is a 2 ounce jar. They do come in, I believe, four ounce jars, so that might be a little more legible, but in any case, we have the directions for use and ingredients on the bottom, so it's gonna be in English and in French as well. I believe that's the second language, or another language used in Toronto. Um, opening the jar, you're gonna get, oh wow, it's stuck. Opening the jar, you're gonna get this water based very typical of most water based gel pomades but if you guys I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera but it has like this very slight oily characteristic to it as well so in it we also have castor oil which I believe is giving it that property um, let's go ahead and get down so Kamoto means with movement. This product is advertised as one of those products where you're like gonna be grabbing on the go or if you have this kind of hectic lifestyle, always moving around, this pomade is for you. Let's go ahead and test that and see how that works because I move around a lot. Today is gonna be going to the gym, cooking, um, what else, editing photos, cleaning up because I got a bunch of stuff in the garage that we need to clean up. A lot of movement. Let's hope that this pomade lasts throughout the day. So, when you open the jar, they advertise it as a cognac and Cuban scent. For me, it does have that cognac taste or smell. Same thing, but it's definitely like a heavy, um, dark alcohol. But I don't really understand the Cuban part. I've not gone around sniffing Cuban people or Cuban culture. So, sorry guys. Um, can't give you too much insight on that aspect but when you guys scoop out the pomade you get like a very thick and almost like oily feel it's very um, deceptive where it's got this like it's like almost like a very thick medium whole pomade where it just has like a heaviness to it Spreading around the pumps, very easy. So far, no tugging. We're gonna be using about two little finger scoops. Um, another thing is the product is advertised to be good for like pompadours or slick backs, the more like dapper kind of hairstyles. But for me, let's hope that it can kind of just generally tame down my um, waves. That's Where's my comb? That's always been the issue for me is where a lot of these slick products, once my hair kind of interacts with it, it for some reason starts curling up a lot more. It's really weird. I just don't really understand it. Still trying to figure it out to this day. But I guess there's no comb. Oh, there it is. Psych. So combing through the hair, super easy. Um, I think because of that like water-based characteristic, the application process is just smooth as butter. Um, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily drying up yet, but we'll see how that kind of fares in a little bit. So far, slickness is, I would say a pretty decent slickness, like a maybe six out of 10, seven out of 10. Um, okay, I can kind of feel it drying up a little bit, but let's hope that the oil properties in this product will kind of keep your hair not full, like it won't 
kind of formed into like a helmet head. Um, not so bad. So I always have this issue of taming down this like crazy high part that goes to, like up to my head. I just don't know how to control it other than letting my hair grow out a little longer than usual. But it looks like this product's kind of holding it in place, which I'm very surprised. Let's hope that it survives moving around, getting up, doing errands, whatever the case of less not a super crazy active day, but still a lot of moving. Let's hope that this Kamoto ideology lives up to its name. Um, I know it's also advertised to have uh, creatine and biotin in it as well. Did some research, biotin still kind of up in the air, more research needs to be done. But creatine, I did find like a couple articles where it, they basically patent like this whole process of growing hair or like how to promote hair growth is really interesting um, I'll go ahead and link it at the bottom so you guys can kind of give it a read but creatine helps with the reproduction of hair and kind of stimulates the growth of hair I don't know how true that is but we'll see in a couple weeks I guess if I keep using this product or I'll start showering with creatine powder but let's get through the day and then we'll end it with the usual Alright, what up guys? It's been freaking hot today. I mean, you probably hit like 87 or 88 degrees. I know it's not like super crazy like 100 degrees in Arizona, but for California that's pretty hot. And for me, I'm just sweating all freaking day. So, as you guys can see, the hair has moved a little bit. I attribute it to me sweating at the gym. Today was just a lot of benching, so not too much movement. I'm just basically laying down and just literally bench pressing. Um, my hair did fall out of place here and there, but that's just probably my sweat dissolving the product from my hair, um, considering that it is water soluble. So restyling it, you're gonna feel a little bit of like, a little bit of dryness. The product has dried out at this point, but there's still the malleability to kind of just restructure your hair at that point. So there's no flaking from what I've experienced so far, the two times I've used it. Um, hair definitely is drier. There's a little bit more resistance and tugging, but it's still doable. It's not like I'm going to be trying to hold this up for like 24 hours, but it still works in my books. So I'm Probably just gonna go shower because I haven't showered at the gym, but uh, restylability, still doable. Endurance it has lasted me a good amount of time throughout the day, considering that it was a hot day and I went to the gym, so fairly active. Um, the scent is pretty much gone at this point. Shine, I'd say it's like a low shine. It's no longer a medium shine that we kind of get from the beginning. Slickness has deteriorated over time. But my guess is the product just kind of like settled in and dried up at that point. Um, final thoughts. Hmm. Definitely Konmodo. It is living up to its name where you kind of grab it on the go. And my lifestyle is like pretty random where I just kind of need something very solid and capable of kind of persevering throughout the day. This would probably rank on top of that list um, I definitely cater or not cater I favor more like clays and stuff just because that's like my go-to and it's like super easy to use and style and it's not gonna dissolve when I start sweating if that makes sense but for this if it was a little bit cooler in circumstances where like I know the temperature is a little bit more controlled let's say I'm working in the office or like I know I'm just kind of be like sitting in place throughout the day I would basically like um, tend towards this product just because it offers that slickness whereas a lot of clays don't um, sometimes I miss the slickness this isn't like overly slick where I'm just like dappered up like crazy for me I like the loose and like casual kind of look clays give me that this also gives me that initially it gives me that slickness so 
if it's something more formal, yeah, I'm gonna like reach towards the Komodo. I would prefer that it did not dry up to the extent that it has, but my hair still feels soft, so I'm not too like um, upset about that, I guess. <laughs> I'm not like gonna get upset over a hair product, but it did dry up a little bit. My hair still feels okay. It's not like, uh, what do you call it? It's not like a helmet hat or helmet hair or whatever you guys call it at this point. So, not bad, man. Not bad. Alright, next time we'll be reviewing their slick pomade. What the hell am I talking about? Not slick pomade, their clay pomade. Um, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll probably release that in game 6 of... Raptors versus Golden State. Let's, let's go Raptors, man.